Hi guys, welcome back for another reaction video. This time it's going to be a viewer request. You guys have been asking me to check out more of the Japanese scene and I've got my hands on a video from the band Bright Air. It's called Ghoul and they are Japanese metal. Uh, it looks like they are made up of five members called, got, you've got Kimi, Ayumi, Misa, Haru, and Natsumi. So I'm going to check out this track. It's released in about 2019. Apparently they've got a 2020 album out, Exposure Emotions. I've not heard or seen the band before, so I'm going to go ahead and just take a listen and see how I feel about their music. For those of you joining me the first time today, welcome to my channel. For those of you coming back to digest more of the Japanese scene with me or just to discover new bands or just to follow along because you already love this band, welcome. If you guys like this kind of content, this is what I do on my channel. Click the subscribe button below. If you want to get notified, click the bell. Outside of that, I'm just going to go ahead and throw my headphones on and get to know this band. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go.
All right, so with that, the music was just so insane, so good, and I kept hearing all of these European flavors of styling in the melodies and the rhythms, and oh, it was just so good. When it came to the vocals, it was a little different because it felt more like like I could say it's like pop metal for vocals but the music itself was like metal like a really great melodic metal and then you've got that that throwdown in the middle where it gets really heavy and deep and I was like what are they doing here there's so many different things going on it's so good and it's so what what are they doing now it's really good stuff uh, you know I don't think I totally got what they were doing um I think I'm going to be digging into more of what they're doing. It just, it, they, they were just kind of so many different flavors in one song to hear and putting it all together. I know I definitely need to go back and listen again so that I really can digest exactly what they did. But I mean, nice bass, nice guitars, and like the really nice fancy finger work. They were really like, came a game. Like uh, every band that I watch that is doing something good in Japan, they always bring their A game. And that's, I'm just, I know I'm never going to be unimpressed by the skill that these artists are doing because they just bring it. And I appreciate that they come and just unload and bring you their skill and their talents. I mean, this is another band. I think I'm going to be listening to a lot more of their stuff. So yeah. What do you guys think? I mean, do you get the the same feeling on the feeling of the vocals seem like they're like a pop metal? Um, they just seemed very different than what I've been digesting from the Japanese scene so far. So it's just a little different stuff. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I'm just saying that it's a very different style of vocal. Um, and as far as the music, what did you think about how this band performs? I like that, you know, again, they did a real music video. I appreciate that so much to have a great visual to go with the music. Uh, you know, I think this is a, a fun band and I'm going to continue to check out what they're doing. But I want to know what you guys think. Have you been listening to this band? Is this uh, your first time today? Or how long have you been listening if you've been following this band for a while? And what other tracks do you think should be checked out? And do you think this is one of their stronger tracks? Or do you think that there are others out there that, that deserve more attention than this one? So with that said, you guys fire away below in the comments. And I'll see you guys on the next reaction review. Bye.